All right. So these are the chuck stops that you just saw me sketch up. Um, it's a little project that I built uh, off camera. Okay, so forgive me for not showing the uh, the complete build. Um, these are pretty simple little guys, uh, and this idea comes from uh, my friend Robin Renzetti, who made a. Actually, he did a video recently. It's an excellent video, and he shows his system, which is a little different than this. Um, the chuck that he kind of uh, retrofitted with stops like this didn't have these radial slots, so um, I took advantage of these radial slots because I'm lazy <laughs> and didn't uh, drill and tap the uh, the chuck body. So you can see these are positionable for radius here. Okay, so I'll just set set this one here transmission <laughs> snug that up and then what we have is we have a series of adjustable screws okay and you can turn these uh, it has a little clamp mechanism now the idea behind all this is many times you want to hold um, a th you know a thin disc or uh, a narrow slug like this and you want to project it out towards the the tips of the jaws and so there's some other schemes for, for spacing that out. Uh, one of them is a plate that I've made, which looks like this, okay, which kind of does a similar thing, okay. This drops in there and it's adjustable, okay. Um, and, you know, you can adjust these and then you have a good solid surface to push against. And also the other thing it does is it... Uh, squares the stock too, okay, and uh, so that's the other the other neat thing, and I'll show you how to adjust these in a sec. So, anyway, uh, uh, this is a very common thing to be have to position out at the tip of the jaws like this. So let's uh, let's go ahead and adjust these. All right, I'm set up to do that, and uh, we'll we'll make an adjustment. All right. So we just bring the indicator up like so, and we get the indicator on the. Uh, get the indicator on the uh, the button okay and then we zero it out on that particular one alright and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it to the next one alright that one looks pretty good that one looks pretty good that one looks pretty good okay well the idea is that you can uh, you can make adjustments okay let me see if I can shade that you guys can see it yeah the old indicator glare guys here we go that doesn't work. There you go. All right. So the idea is that uh, that you can make very fine adjustments with these. Okay. And zero mom, so that basically you don't have you don't have any run out, or, or that face is parallel. Is that right? Parallel, perpendicular to the axis of rotation, which is really what you care about. All right, so I'm adjusting these back in. There we go. That needs a little one. Okay. So it's really easy to set them, you know, to within a within a mill really easily, right? And then now I can just uh, plop my uh, discus maximus in there. Okay. And I got a nice a nice solid backing to push up against or turn against or uh, do something like that okay all right so the the credit for this idea really goes to my friend uh, Robin Renzetti um, and if you haven't looked at Robin's channel you really really should go he's a uh, he's an excellent tool maker and he's really uh, started to make more videos lately and they're just wonderful videos they're very very densely packed with technical information. So there's a little link in the description, um, or a link at the end of this video, actually. I'll put a link to the end of, in the end of this video to Robin's video on his Chuck Stop. So do him a favor, go check him out, and if you like what he's doing over there, give him a sub. He's a great guy. I've met him in person, and um, um, I, I can't say enough good things about him. So uh, we hit it off immediately, just like we worked together for 20 years, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you like the uh, number one in uh, the sketch series. Um, and uh, we're going to do this again.